Come join us today from the floor of the 2017 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. We'll be covering all the latest reveals and be talking to the people that help bring them to life. So check out our website, Autoline.tv, throughout the afternoon, as well as our YouTube channel for all the latest updates. On today's show, are car keys heading the way of the dodo bird? The Sierra Club says automakers need to do a better job of marketing electric cars and how a new manufacturing technique is helping automakers cut weight from vehicles. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. With the amount of technology that's crammed into today's cars, it's more important than ever for drivers to fully understand each system and how they work. According to the AAA, more education needs to be done with automatic emergency braking. The agency conducted a series of tests on vehicles equipped with the technology and found that they vary greatly in performance. For example, systems designed to prevent crashes reduced vehicle speeds by twice that of systems designed to only lessen crash severity. While both systems avoid crash situations under 30 miles an hour pretty well, the more robust systems do a much better job at reducing vehicle speed when pushed to and beyond their limits. You may remember that back in March, a group of 20 automakers announced they're going to make automatic emergency braking standard on all cars by 2022. So as more cars get equipped with the technology, you can see why it would be important for someone to know which system they have, especially when 66% of Americans currently think that auto emergency braking systems are designed to avoid crashes without any driver intervention. Say, could car keys be headed for extinction? Continental developed an app that uses smartphones to do everything your car keys or car fob can do. It'll turn on the lights as you approach your car at night and open the trunk when you stand near it. It'll adjust the seats and mirrors and choose your favorite music. And even if your phone is in your jacket or purse in the back seat, you can start the engine. Okay, a lot of key fobs can do this already. The main selling point about using smartphones is that they're perfect for car sharing. The car sharing service can download the keys to your phone and then disable the keys once you are done driving. This is also perfect for fleet managers and dealers who have to monitor and move the cars in their inventory. Now they're not going to need physical keys or key fobs at all. They'll be able to handle it with one smartphone. Continental says this technology will hit the market around 2020. Still to come, a look at what steps automakers can take to boost sales of electric vehicles. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Sales of electric cars only account for a small percentage of the total U.S. market, but the Sierra Club says it thinks it knows why. It says most car companies and dealers do a terrible job of marketing and selling them. It suggests dealers need more EVs in inventory, they need to display them more prominently and advertise more about them, and they need to do a better job of training their salespeople to sell EVs, especially on the kind of rebates and tax credits that buyers can get. The Sierra Club ranks Tesla, BMW, Chevrolet, and Nissan as the best at selling EVs. It says that Mercedes, Porsche, Hyundai, and Volvo are the worst. And speaking of electric cars, one of the questions with them is what will happen to used batteries once they need to be replaced? A report from Bloomberg New Energy Finance shows that they could be a perfect solution for low-cost battery storage. The study found that there will be 29 gigawatt hours of used EV batteries coming out of cars in 2025, with around a third of those living on as stationary storage. Currently, it can cost up to $1,000 per kilowatt hour for a new stationary storage system. Used EV batteries could drop that to only $49 in 2018, plus another $400 to convert it to a stationary storage. 
This is why companies like BMW, Mercedes, and Nissan are developing their own Second Life stationary storage systems. Coming up next, a look at some creative solutions automakers are using to improve fuel economy. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work. Dow. Automakers need to cut weight from cars to improve fuel economy and reduce emissions. One of the materials that they're turning to is ultra-high strength steel. That steel is so strong that you can use a thinner gauge which helps reduce weight. But it also is so strong it has to be softened up before it can be stamped. Otherwise, you'll break the stamping dies. So stamping companies like Guest Stamp are using a new manufacturing method called hot stamping. And here's how it works. They start with steel coils that get cut into sheets. Those are fed into a blanking press, which trims them down to the proper size. The blanks are moved by robots onto a conveyor line that feeds them into an oven. That heats up the blanks red hot almost instantly. Now that the blanks are hot and soft, they can be transferred into a press and stamped into the final part. Hot stamping is now being used to make A and B pillars and other structural components. And to us, this shows how creative the automotive industry can be when it comes to meeting the fuel economy standards. And speaking of regulations, automakers and suppliers are knocking their brains out trying to use every last drop of fuel that they can. But changing wheels can make a remarkable difference. And here's one the supplier called Lax developed called the Evolve Wheel. It uses a lightweight aluminum backbone that's covered with a composite outer surface. Not only is the wheel lighter, it's more aerodynamic. When they tested it on a 2013 Ford Focus SE, it gained 0.4 miles per gallon in the city and 1.1 miles per gallon on the highway using the same wheel size as the stock version. That's a pretty significant jump in fuel economy and it's probably more noticeable than using something like start-stop technology. And that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.